before this news video starts, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I make great videos, you will love them. Everybody, my name is Cameron Brown from the How to Cameron channel. Welcome to CNN. You've probably not watched this series before, uh, presuming you're a new subscriber. So I would like to say guten tag and good morning because this is CNN, the, the official news source. I just wanted to clarify one thing. Uh, this is not a copy of Pew News. I know a lot of people are going to just assume that. I actually started this series before PewDiePie started his signature Pew News. And I assume that I'm never going to be able to live up to how good his news videos actually are. So I'm not going to bother. This is a official CNN. We're going to be rebooting the series, okay? Because I started and let's face it, the first few CNN videos were very poor. Very poor indeed. They did not reach the high caliber requirement. For a, for a good video on the How to Cameron channel. They were merely acceptable. So today we're going to be starting CNN, the news news network, Cameron's news network, weekly series every every Sunday. I'm going to upload this every Sunday, okay? That is a promise. If I don't upload this, okay, next Sunday, I want you to flip in, see me in public. I want you to spank me. Don't actually, please, don't, I'm joking, oh god. Anyway, welcome to the news. I don't even know what news happened recently. I, I don't know, so I'm just gonna search them up and I'm gonna re redistribute them. I'm going to be giving my thoughts, my opinions, and my, and my commentary to these news stories. So I'm recording this video on the 21st of April. I don't know when this video is actually coming out. But it was predicted that on the 18th of April, the world should have ended. Uh, who predicted that, you may wonder? Some crazy Christian. Apparently, it was meant to be... Uh, Judgment Day or something like that. I don't know. They keep changing it. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, but effectively, uh, it was meant to be the end of the world. And unfortunately, we're still here. Uh, that really annoyed me. I woke up on the 19th and I just thought to myself, God flipping damn it. I have to attend business studies again. Flip it! God dang it! So I was really angry about that, you know. Uh, and, and the world didn't end. But now they're predicting, uh, we got a official news article uh, on the express.co.uk that's called End of the World 2018 David Mead Breaks Silence on April 23rd Apocalypse Date. So apparently the world is ending on the 23rd. Uh, when's that? That's Monday! Monday! So you have to do Monday to do whatever you want because we're all going to die on the 21st. Uh, 23rd, sorry. We're going to die on the 23rd, not the 21st. That's today. If, if it was the end of the world today, I'd be out there, you know, doing things that are illegal. Because I'm going to die soon. 
That's a joke. I actually wouldn't. I'd be very scared. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the world's gonna end. But reading this, it, it says that the self-styled Christian nu numerologist is just a completely random term that actually has no meaning. So this person's completely unqualified, effectively. And I think I've seen this guy before predict the end of the world. But the world is gonna end, God flipping down on the 23rd of April. So shut up. So apparently, uh, on this day, the world as we know it will supposedly end. No, it will flip an end, I guess, sure. Uh, either by the arrival of the mythical planet X. So what's going to happen? We need an infographic right now. Okay, can you guys see me? Yeah, you can. Okay, what is going to This is Earth, right? Uh, down all the way over there, really far away, a planet is going to come faster than... Physically possible uh, that we haven't detected. NASA have not detected it yet. Maybe they have. Maybe they just haven't told us about it yet. But what is going to happen? The planet is going to randomly just go at us and hit us. Okay, because that's how space works, pretty much. It just goes. Everything goes directly to Earth. Uh, and I don't care. If the Earth is four billion years old. I think it is, or something like that. Probably more. Uh, no, it's going to end today after tomorrow. It's going to end. Okay, so you better be scared. Uh, or, or there is another or, the second coming of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is going to come back and he's going to flip in. He's going to be like, I'll do camera and you'll make bad videos, fam. And he's going to kill us all because of my uh, doing, my wrongdoing of making bad YouTube videos. It's definitely not like uh, this won't happen. Okay, the next story I'm going to show that I'm recording. It'd be funny if I'm not. I am recording. God dang it, this crappy video is going to be out. This is actually a serious uh, article that I wanted to talk about. And that is Avicii, he died. Uh, he died at the age of 28. He's a electronic dance music artist. I didn't even know that was his like uh, forte. I didn't know that's what he was even considered because when I normally listen to his songs, I don't normally dance because I kind of dance like this, right? Don't laugh. I'm just on a pen. But I normally don't do that when I'm actually listening to some of Avicii's top hits. So I didn't actually know that he was recognised as an electronic dance music artist. I thought he was just a uh, electronic music artist, but okay, I'll take that, I'll take that. Uh, but effectively, he died of like, I think it was like alcohol abuse or something. Uh, he also had, he had an acute pancreatitis, uh, which was in part due to excessive drinking. This is on The Sun, so it's definitely wrong, but you know. If anyone has to cite The Sun, uh, just give up, put the work away, because the sun's flipping useless. But effectively, uh, he, he died of alcohol abuse, technically. Uh, which is really sad. Uh, it always baffles me how people, uh, celebrities with a crazy amount of money, a great life, die of something so stupid, like alcohol abuse. Like, it's so easily sorted out. Like, I understand that it's a mental issue that instigates the drinking of alcohol. But unironically, if one of his friends intervened, if one of his family members said, you're going to God them uh, rehab, it would have been all sorted out with, you know, pretty much. And the fact that no one did that really says something about the family. The fact that he got no help and the fact that he had to resort to drinking alcohol, probably because of like an underlying mental issue, I presume. It is really goddamn sad and I do feel bad for this guy, but he's dead now. So like, there's no point feeling bad for him, uh, which is sad still, but... Uh, it, it's crazy. Uh, don't drink excessively. It doesn't help. Okay, if you didn't know that and Papa Cameron was the first person to tell you that, uh, I helped you out. So make sure you keep watching CNN. Uh, it's a good show. And the last story that we're going to discuss on CNN today is, is a very important one. It's about farming. You know I'm a farmer at heart. You know I am. So in the business news, uh, business being a completely pointless A-level, don't take it. Thank you for listening. <laughs> I actually got in a lot of trouble because I said business was a pointless A-level and I also said that it didn't count as an A-level. I did say the second statement mostly as a joke, but people in my business class heard that in one of my videos and they did not take it as a joke and now I think they all hate me, uh, which is fine because I'd prefer to be hated than not cared about or known about, so that's pretty good. But this article is simply titled Farmers Hit by Record Straw Prices, which really hurts. It really hurts me how farmers are less able to torture animals. There has been a spike in the demand for straw because of the poor weather. Straws also have been more expensive to harvest. So that's just pretty bad as well. Um, and this means that like milk and meat is gonna probably increase in price, which is just gonna help contribute to inflation. And I hope everyone knows at home that inflation is a wonderful thing. Uh, it really is. 
Uh, I love it how people blame the government though for inflation. Like, it's ridiculous. I inflation is simply increased by more people spending money. It means that items are more expensive because they're in greater demand effectively. That increases inflation. And of course, it's very hard for wages to follow inflation because if wages do follow inflation or go higher than inflation, what that pretty much means is the supply of these products is too high, which means there's too much waste anyway. So inflation is really annoying because of that. But effectively, because straw is more expensive, this means that the supply for straw is going to be lower. Uh, the amount of supply of, say, I don't know, meat, beef, for example, uh, it is also going to be low, which means the price is going to be higher, which means people are spending more money. And if people are spending more money, inflation will probably increase. And because inflation increases, people are going to complain about wage growth because it's not following inflation, which is very funny. And they're going to blame the government, even though it's the weather's fault, which, which is always great. I really do feel bad for the government. Like, people blame the government for flipping everything. Okay, like, people are going to complain about how, I don't know, unemployment's going to increase after Brexit. Yet, the Conservative Party didn't even endorse Brexit. I think I'm one of the only people who actually supports the Conservatives over Labour. So, uh, on the internet, I'm clearly in a minority. Because on the internet, everyone hates the Conservatives and everyone loves Labour. But also, people on the internet are stupider. Just saying, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys, though, for watching CNN, Cameron's News Network. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more news videos, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. It, it would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. If you guys have a good day, the news. Keep watching the news, but make sure you only watch CNN.